Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. It is time to attempt to pump up the hydro gas suspension on the Austin Metro. The rear subframe and all that is back on the car. Watch the previous video if you haven't already. Everything should be working now and all the uh, structural rust is repaired. I still need to do some stuff out here, but I can do that later. This video is not going to be a guide on how to do it. Well, maybe it will, because if I succeed, then maybe you can use it as a guide, but I won't know for sure just yet. If you want a guide, then I would highly suggest that you check out TwinCam. He got a video on his channel on how to do it and a bit more in depth than this is going to be. This is just going to be me trying to pump this up. As you can see, after I changed those suspension pipes, the system is now completely drained. Um, and that makes it rather low. With the Alley Cat rims, low pressure in the suspension system, it is really low and also rubbing, so it's not drivable at all at the moment. But let's try to pump this up. Before getting started, I would like to try to explain what I understand about the hydro gas system. But this is a hydro gas unit. Up here we got some gas, down here we got some hydro liquid, the, the, the stuff we're going to pump in today. On the old system, this up, this up here was not a gas unit, it was a rubber spring. On this system, it's more like the Citroën uh, hydraulic systems with a gas and a membrane in between. And that, that is what gives the car the suspension. The hydro liquid down here defines the ride height and as far as I know, also the dampening effect of, uh, of the car. So up here is the spring and down here is the damper. Some say that I cannot just pump this system up because doing that it will just be ex the right height but extremely hard. That is not necessarily the case, but if the nitrogen gas up here escapes, then the car will be rock hard even though I pump it up. This is not a very serviceable item. It is meant to just last for the car's life or the unit's life at least. And they are not, and they, as far as I know, no longer sold because not much left of the British car industry. Uh, but there is a company in England that uh, specializes in fitting a valve to these and then pumping them up again. And I would like to get that done in the future, but not right now. I have to keep the cost down just a little bit on all my projects. So I'm just going to hope that the gas is all right in these. Maybe it won't be as comfy as from factory. As long as it's not rock hard, then I will be happy about it. Let's try to pump it up. Maybe there is a special procedure on pumping up a system that is completely bled because I need to get the air out of this of the system because that is way too compressible. But I don't know. I'm just going to try and then see if it works. So we have the pump right here with a gauge and then right, right in here I'm going to pour some liquid and then we can pump it up. And then on this end of the line is a valve that screws onto this straighter kind of tire valve on the hydraulic system and then I can turn this in to depress the little thingy in the uh, in the valve to open up the system. It is a bit difficult to reach especially now with the car completely on its belly but let's try. Right there we have the valve. Let's attempt to connect it. It's not going to be a one-handed job. So there, there we go. It is now connected and I can turn this one in. Right now there is no pressure in the system so nothing will happen. I guess. I expect if there was pressure in the system that I would be able to open this up and let pressure out. There was a little bit of pressure, but nothing really came out. But I think we can fill up some fluid into this now and then start pumping and then see the car rise. Maybe I should have put more in, but we'll find out. Let's try to pump it up. I have a plan about pumping a little bit in and then letting a little bit out to see if I can bleed the air out of the system. But let's see if it even works. Now we have some pressure building up. 
Something is happening, at least. <laughs> this is fun. I don't know why, but I think it's fun. There's a lot of... Is there a leak? Yeah, we have a leak. I don't think the connection is tight enough. On the on the rubber hose. I fixed the leak, so now we can go on. Now I expect the car to start rising at any moment. Oh no, we have a leak at the at the hydro gas unit. I'm just gonna let some out. I think I need to tighten up the union on the uh, on the hydro gas unit. Let's try again. I tighten up that connection, but I'm really scared of actually snapping off that uh, that connection like I did on the old unit. So I don't really want to tighten it too much. This is making a lot of noises. Look at this. So the way to set the right height is apparently to measure from the middle of the wheel to the wheel arch. And it's supposed to be 32.1 centimeters from the center. And right now we are at, if we measure to this part of the wheel arch, 28.5, so we need to go a bit higher. I'm not too worried about setting it precise right now because I think when I move it about, it will raise us lower slightly. Later on, I will recheck it, but uh, let's try to just be a little bit precise maybe. I think that's about it right there. It looks completely ridiculous at the moment after having it that low, but <laughs> I guess that is, but I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. I'm just going to shut the valve off down here. Like that. A bit of pressure did come out, so I didn't think it lowered a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Let's see if there's any suspension. Oh, yes. Oh, that seems really nice, actually. Not at... This is not a rock hard suspension, that's for sure. The nitrogen, the nitrogen in these units seems to be just fine. I don't... I wouldn't want it to be softer than this. And it settles just like that. Wow. So that's it. This is my first time trying to mess with the uh, hydro gas suspension and pumping it up. As you can see, I had a little leak here. I didn't tighten up that connection enough. I did that now and it's not leaking anymore. I was really scared of doing the same as I did on this one and sharing it off, but it held up. So it just seems to work. I'm going to pump up the front end a little bit as well. There is a lot of pressure on that system still, so that's that's good. That's a really good uh, indication. I'm not really going to measure anything because I don't have wheel arches on the front at the moment, so I have nothing to measure from. But I'm just going to pump it up so I can move the car about a little easier without dragging the engine and subframe on the uh, on the ground. Take a look at the amount of ride height I now have on this car. It's amazing. 
Before, when I drove this car onto the lift, it buttoned out completely on the silt. So this is a really nice. It's really nice. It's going to make it so much more easy to work on. And also, I have now completed quite a lot of the work needed to get this car back on the road. Remember, you can support me on Patreon if you like. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.